Does that make sense? No. Okay, Maytel. Ooh. I'm having tripod issues with my camera. So we're filming from the floor of my bedroom, which is actually great. It's very up close and personal. Today, I wanna to talk about handbags. And in the past, I did a video on luxury handbags that are worth the high price point. Today, I really wanted to focus on the hot luxury bags on the scene right now that are not worth the price. So let's just jump right in. Returning subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here and just joining us for the first time, my name's Maytel. Welcome to Style Hard. I hope you subscribe and ring my bell. You won't regret it. We have a really good time here. Yeah. Yeah, we do. So before we get into the hot luxury bags that are happening in fashion right now, I really wanna thank Gobi Cashmere for sponsoring this video. So this is not the first time that I've worked with Gobi Cashmere. I really, really love their wide variety of cashmere fashion. Now, they're having an incredible coat sale right now. I wanna show you some of the things that I chose, but before I do, I wanna emphasize the fact that there is something for everyone. There are different color palettes, different styles, different cuts, different shapes. And it was really, really hard for me to choose because there are so many different beautiful styles on their website. And I just feel like there are so many different pieces that I can incorporate in various different ways into my wardrobe. So one of the really special pieces that I chose was this gorgeous blazer that's kind of reddish pinkish. I love it because it's such a beautiful color that is also very neutral and the cut is very much in the now in terms of what's happening in fashion. I love the boxy shoulders, the loose oversized cut of the blazer. It's something that you can really style in an effortless, super casual way, but you can also very much dress it up. It is absolutely what's happening in fashion right now, and I am so happy with it. It's multi-seasonal. Right now it's spring, but I'm really looking forward to styling it into summer, and also I will be incorporating it into my fall wardrobe. The next piece I wanna show you is this gorgeous sweater that I'm wearing right now. Cashmere classic piece that I styled with a pair of slim fitting split leg slacks, a pair of Louboutin heels, so classic, so sophisticated, and so expensive looking. I absolutely love this look. This is just so very much me and my style. I mean, you guys know that I am very much across the board with my style, and when I'm feeling like I wanna look just more chic and more sophisticated, this is absolutely my style and my aesthetic. I also think this will look so stunning and effortless with a pair of jeans, a pair of running shoes. This is just a beautiful classic piece that can be worn in many different ways. Next, I I want to show you this absolutely gorgeous lavender cashmere coat. Now we are in spring, but I have mentioned to you guys in a couple videos that in Toronto, we could have a day that's very hot and then a day that's pretty cool. So I love that this is a transitional piece that I can definitely wear in spring and also in fall and on a mild winter day. This works in so many different climates, but it's just a beautiful classic piece. This is something that I will have in my wardrobe forever. It's something that I can wear multi-seasonal, Again, it is transitional and it is classic, so it's something that's not gonna date in a couple fashion seasons from now, and it's definitely something that I could see myself wearing forever. And last but not least, my favorite piece from today is this long cream-colored cashmere coat. Again, multi-seasonal, perfect for a cooler spring day, definitely gonna work for fall, and again, mild winter days. This, to me, looks so expensive, like a $2,000 coat. This is absolutely something I'm gonna wear so much, probably for the rest of my life. This kind of piece does not date. And that's why I really love Gobi Cashmere because there are so many pieces that are absolutely timeless, forever classic and will always be relevant in fashion. If you wanna know more about Gobi Cashmere and check out their amazing coat sale, check out all the information in my description box. It's all linked for you down below. All right, so getting right into the hot luxury bags that I personally do not think are worth the high price, and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's start with number one, which is the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag. Now, you guys, the reason that I actually decided to do this video today is because I actually did like a couple quick videos on this topic on TikTok and a lot of people really liked and valued what I had to say. Everyone was asking for like part two, part three, part four. And I thought, oh, this is obviously something people are really interested in talking about. And I have done a video on bags that I think are worth the price. So I thought, 
such a good idea to talk about it in more detail on YouTube of bags that I think are not worth the price. So one of the bags I mentioned on TikTok was the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag. Now I have touched on this bag briefly on this channel, but I'll tell you this. How I feel about the Cousin bag is that I actually think out of most Louis Vuitton bags, this one is the most my style and something that I actually like and would wear. I love the squishiness about it. I love the shape of it. I love the texture. I like the embossed monogram, not too in your face. I think it's beautiful. It comes in so many colors. I love the chain. Actually, I think it's fair to say I really like this bag. When there are Louis Vuitton pieces that I like, I really like them. So I do really enjoy the style of the Kusan bag. What it is about it is that when it's thrown in our face by influencers and a big marketing campaign, that's when I kind of get not turned off, not turned off because if I like something, I like it. What makes me think twice of, you know, possibly purchasing something like that is because I know that with these marketing campaigns, what happens is that they get really popular really quickly or they're just pushed on us so fast and so hard that they kind of die down almost as fast as they become popular. So the thing with the Kusan bag is it's very, very much in the now. I don't think that it's a bag that Louis Vuitton is gonna be making for seasons to come. I don't think it's gonna be a classic. I don't think in 10 years from now, the Kusan bag is gonna be like in the Louis Vuitton handbag collection, right? So it's very much in the now. Even if it lasts for a couple more fashion seasons, it's gonna become dated rather quickly quickly and it's going to become very recognizable for this era right now. Does that mean it's not worth it? Look, it only means it's not worth it if that's what you value. Me personally, I really like to buy handbags that I could see going forward with me and my style and my wardrobe, you know, if I feel like I can wear it for years to come. Now, that's not to say that I don't buy sometimes an it bag that I just really love. Whether I think it's a classic, whether I think I'm gonna wear it for seasons to come or not, sometimes I just bite the bullet, even if I think it's not a classic, just because I love it, I'm thinking about it, I'm dreaming about it. So it's really all about what you value and what you love. So at the end of the day, if you love these pieces, you definitely should invest in them because they're special to you and they're what you want and they fit in with your lifestyle or your personal fashion style etc. So just my opinion on the Kusan bag. I really do like it. I personally don't like it enough to spend a lot of money on it because again, it's very much in the now. It is behind a big influencer marketing campaign, meaning that Louis Vuitton is trying to tell us this is the new hot it bag and I ain't falling for it. So Louis Vuitton Kusan, not worth the hype, not worth the money. Sorry. Next bag that I think is really not worth the high price and I have really good reasons backing this up and that is the Gucci Jackie bag. Now here's the thing about the Jackie bag. Aside from the fact that it's definitely not a classic, and I've mentioned to you guys in a previous video the difference between classics and trends and fads. People will say to me on Instagram and TikTok that these bags are classics because they've been done before, but that does not mean that it's a classic. Just because it's been done before doesn't mean it's a classic. A classic is something that's done all the time, not something that's done and then 20, 30 years later, it's done again. That's not a classic, that's just something that is a trend that kind of dies down and then it becomes a trend again. So the Gucci Jackie bag has been introduced, I think, I don't know how many times with Gucci, but in my lifetime, I've only seen it twice. I think it's an older bag before my time, but I know that this bag was really popular like I think 20 years ago or something and then it was like very much an outdated bag. That's how I remember the Gucci Jackie bag. Like I just remember moms when I was younger rocking it and thinking oh like that's just kind of like a mom bag. But I'm not saying that in like a rude derogatory way. I'm just saying that in a like non cutting edge fashion way. So I think that that's gonna happen again with the Jackie bag. Like it's not a classic bag. It's not gonna be something that's popular all the time. But if it's a bag that you love and you know fits in with your wardrobe, I'm gonna tell you why I still don't think that it's worth the high price. And that's because this is not the first generation of this bag. So there are so many, so many options on the resale market that are so much cheaper, so, so much cheaper. And a lot of these bags on the resale market are in beautiful condition. So I just really don't think it's worth the high price and I really don't think it's a bag that's gonna last that long. I think it's 
just being pushed on us because it's all about that like Y2K fashion right now and they're just bringing back all the re-edition. And it's no different with the Gucci bag. It is very much like a classic aesthetic, but it isn't in fact classic. And it is a bag that is popular now, but will not be popular in several years from now. So I really don't think the Gucci Jackie bag is worth the high price. The next bag that I wanna talk to you guys about is the Valentino Roman Stud. Now, the Roman Stud bag is just kind of like a new and improved, or maybe not improved, but just like a new fresh take on the rock stud. The Roman stud is just kind of trying to, you know, hold on for dear life to the trend of the rock stud in like a new modern way. But here's the thing, I, I think it's actually a cute bag. I actually even think that Valentino rock stud is very cute, but with the whole rock stud trend, this just went so popular and viral so fast, almost like a decade ago. And they kind of held on and they're still kind of holding on. And now Valentino, I feel, is just trying to, you know, keep the relevance going by introducing the Roman stud, which is kind of like a variation of the rock stud. And I just don't see it picking up in popularity as much. They are marketing it as like a new it bag. You know, it's not actually offensive to me in terms of the marketing campaigns. It's not being thrown in my face that much, at least on my social feeds and my social channels. Like it's not really in my face that much. And again, I do think aesthetically, this is a cute bag. I just personally wouldn't buy it. Doesn't speak to me that much on a fashion level, but I'm telling you guys this, not just from my opinion on how I feel about these bags, but more so just from a dollars and cents point of view, why I think it's just not worth the money. I just don't think it's that much of an it bag. I don't think it will hold its value. And it's, you know, if you're someone that likes to buy and sell or always be in the now, I don't think this will have good resale value at all, really. But just to reiterate my point that I said earlier with the Louis Vuitton Cousin and just any bag that I'm talking about here today, like really it's about what you value. It's worth it if you value it. And I know there's a lot of people that are collectors and they just like to have these bags and they keep them forever, they never sell them. So a lot of different people buying bags for different reasons. But for me, I really think that the Valentino Roman stud is just absolutely not worth the price. I don't think it will last very long and I don't think it will ever have good resale value. So yeah, better luck next time. Is that rude? I feel like that's rude. Next, I wanna talk about the Jacques Mousse bags, and I'm not talking about the bags that I've roasted so many times before, not like the mini micro bags, but I'm just actually talking about the Jacques Mousse handbags that have become very popular over the last few years, and the thing is that these are just very, very much in the now. I think they're very dateable. A lot of fashion that I like to avoid are fashion pieces that are so, so specific from an era. Fashion pieces that are so dateable that, you know, if you were to wear them five years from now it's just like very very obvious how dated that fashion piece looks and that's how I feel about these Jacques Mousse bags now sometimes when I talk about Jacques Mousse people are like oh my gosh but Jacques Mousse is just such an amazing fashion house I'm not talking about the fashion house I'm just talking about these particular bags and these particular items from each fashion house because I actually really love each fashion house that I'm talking about today but these Jacques Mousse bags, like, I just don't think they have longevity. I think they are already dying. I don't think they're gonna last that long. I don't think they're worth the price, even though I think compared to other luxury bags, they are more reasonable. But again, I just think they're very, very dateable. They're just very much in this era, this whole like years surrounding 2020, but let's just call it the year 2020, even though we're not in 2020, just this whole era of fashion. A lot of it is pretty brutal. And it's not that this bag is brutal, but it's just so recognizable to this era. And so for that, I gotta, you know, put it on this list. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's gonna date quickly and it's just gonna be a has-been pretty soon. Pretty, pretty, pretty soon. All right, last but not least on my list of hot luxury bags that are just not worth the high price, I have to say the Bottega Veneta cassette bag. Or as some of you like to correct me, Bottega Veneta, I don't know. I don't know. This whole coming for people on their enunciation is just a bizarre thing to me. Like, does everyone say croissant every time they order a croissant? When you say like Saint Laurent, do you say Saint Laurent? Like, can we just relax? Can we? Okay. 
So I was debating putting the cassette bag on this list because I could see it going both ways. So if we're talking about worth the price, you know, the biggest factor for me is does it have longevity? Is it going to be relevant in fashion for seasons to come? It doesn't have to be forever, but it has to be for seasons to come. I think that truly the cassette bag does still have some time. Like, I don't think it's going anywhere by next season. I don't think it's one of those fads. I actually do think it is a trend. I just don't know how much of a long lasting trend it is. I think other bags from Bottega have longer lasting staying power. I think with the cassette bag, similar to kind of like the main takeaway and the main point I've been saying throughout this video is that I just think it's very much of this era of this time. And although I do think that it will last a couple more fashion seasons, maybe even several more fashion seasons. I think it'll have a similar fate as the Celine luggage bag. That's how I feel about the cassette bag because I feel like the cassette bag is a very coveted bag right now. It's very popular. A lot of people are wearing it and I think when it dies down, it'll die and just kind of like fade off into the sunset. Kind of like the Celine luggage bag and the Celine phantom bag. Now that bag was the itest it bag of the it bags. Does that make sense? No. Okay, may tell. I'm not sure that every single bag on this list here today will come back around when it comes to the Bottega cassette bag. I do think it will. I think it's popular now. It'll die down in like 20 years from now, it'll come back again. So like the thing is, if you are a collector and you're not someone that just like buys, wears for a couple seasons, sells, and then gets the new one, like that's how I used to be when I was younger. Now that I'm older, I kind of just keep my stuff and like just let it simmer and loiter in my closet and then, you know, comes back around. Like when I'm older, Older, I'll just rock it again. But oftentimes when these designers reintroduce these bags, they're done in a different way as well. So again, that's just not the way that most people think. Most people don't think, oh, well, even if it's outdated by next season, I'll just wait 20 years to wear it again. No, like that's not really the smart thing to do. That's why I'm saying really, if you love it, it's worth it for you. And if you get wear out of it and you want to keep it, hold on to it. But if you're looking for something that's going to have a lot of longevity and you're going to be able to wear now and many seasons from now, these are things to consider. I just really want to reiterate that anything is worth the price if it has value to you. So I just want to give you my personal opinion and how I feel about these bags and why. The truth of the matter is I don't always take my own advice because sometimes you just gotta buy what you love, something that you're dreaming about, something that you just cannot live without. And I know there's a lot of fashion lovers out there that watch my channel and think like me and also sometimes just have those fashion impulses. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I say or what any other YouTuber or influencer says. What matters the most is what you think, how you feel and what you value. So if you like this video, make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You guys know I love you so, so much and I'll be back very soon with another really fabulous video and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now. Thank you.